What is heritage? To us, it could mean the world's largest collection of Datsuns and Nissans at Alzama Heritage Museum in Yokohama. A building filled with saloons and coupes and trucks of every description. Concept cars, race cars. But that's in Japan. And we are in South Africa. But all is not lost, because in the middle of our own country is a town called Buitable. That's 13,686 kilometers from Zama. And it's here that you'll find Friek de Kock's array of Datsuns and Nissan. Uh, when I was young, I had a little skill model called the Datsun P P15. And that was... Late 60s, early 70s, the, the cars was also winning a lot of rallies. Those days the P510 were very popular car. It serves as South Africa's own Datsun and Nissan Heritage Museum and is officially the largest private collection in the world. Everything from GTRs to Sylvias, Cedrics to Laurels, Badges Mark Z and Triple S. They're all here. Our history, our heritage, preserved. It's just such a like a pleasure to get back into a small car that's not overpowered, um, and it just it kind of proves that you don't need gazillions worth of horsepower to have fun. I think it had a lot more power than I expected. <laughs> We get so used to driving these new modern hot hatches with you know performance and launch control and power steering and DSG gearboxes and 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 th that little thing was just it's a rear wheel drive. It's as big as a golf and it just felt so cool to drive. It was so analog. I really loved it and I think it had such a little charm about it. I'll probably take the GTR, but I must say the Fair Lady was extremely special for me. The 140 as well was very, very old school, um, probably a bit too old school for me. So if they said pick one car, I'll take that GTR.